I think Avery was probably about a year old, I want to say, when um, I started publicly, you know, talking about, you know, how I quit my job and I had done egg freezing when I was younger, tried IVF, all that, then ended up adopting Avery. And it was a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, who's also a journalist, who said, she's like, you do realize you, you're going to have to talk about this. Like, you need to talk about this. And I'm like, what? And she's like, like, if this were, if this were somebody beside you, you would know this was a story. She's like, you're just not seeing it because you're in it. And then when I thought about it, I realized for all of my forties, I, I started in my forties that if like some celebrity or some woman in her forties, like had a kid, I would read the story. I would want to know how was it natural? So I'm like, Oh, I guess I'm that person now. So I did, she connected me with, um, I guess the first thing I did was essence magazine. Um, and then from there, I ended up doing Tamron Hall and all these things. And every single time I talk about it, I get a tremendous response from women um, messaging me on Instagram or wherever saying, thank you so much for talking about this. I understand, or, you know, I've been trying, or, you know, I don't know how to juggle this, that. So yeah, it's been really, um, it's been a tremendous response. And a lot of women are relating to the fact that I decided to do this single and not keep waiting um, for, as I say, like this imaginary person that I was giving power over my life because I didn't want to be a single mom. And I, I didn't, I don't, I would, it'd be great to have a partner, but I think the thing that's resonating with women the most is that I stopped waiting and just went and did it.